The issue I was having, and this goes back about 10 years ago, I was having inflammation of the esophagus. When your esophagus gets inflamed, you can't swallow. And that's why I ended up in the emergency room. At the time, the doctors were familiar with this condition called eosinophilic esophagitis. My general practitioner uh, was familiar with some of the work that uh, Dr. Fernandez Becker had done and sort of pointed me to Stanford. The first day I was there, it was clear that this was an area that she was familiar with. Every time I meet a new patient, it's a great journey, to be honest, because I get to know them. I have patients that I've followed for years, and they feel like they're family. <laughs> I feel like she cares about me personally as a patient. When I'm there, I have her undivided attention. She knows me, she knows my history, she remembers it all. A lot of times these patients were the fourth or fifth gastroenterologist that they've seen. They don't come to us completely naive. And I have a very frank discussion with them about this is what's happened before. This is why I think you're having these symptoms. This is the plan for us to sort it out. In David's case, he had a very good response to medications that treat acid reflux. And it turns out we were able to manage the condition. I think that's really been a lot of the success that we've had is sort of the, you know, the way we work together.